In general, uh, ESGO Guidelines project uh, was started five years ago and we de decided to elaborate guidelines for all gynecologic cancer serially, starting with endometrial and finishing recently with cervical cancer, which I presented uh, yesterday. Uh, we have a very strict methodology for, for this with uh, the building of an expert group, uh, extensive and comprehensive research of the literature, the use of a professional methodologist, um, and finally, and last but not least, uh, the, um, the, ex the external review by users. So we, ask, uh, we have asked more than 300 users uh, across Europe just to examine and to give their input and feedback on the first draft of the guidelines. Figo classification in cervical cancer has a long history because it was uh, historically the first uh, tumor site to be staged according to Figo uh, Fédération Internationale de Gynécologie Obstétrique in French. Um, and uh, uh, over all these years, the Figo classification was mainly designed for, for uh, countries with uh, low resources and mainly clinically based, that's one point. And this has changed uh, recently with the incorporation of imaging in the FIGO classification. That means that more and more cervical cancer will be managed uh, uh, after extensive and comprehensive staging, uh, avoiding any um, over-treatment or under-treatment, which is, which is essential. And uh, in general, uh, the evolution of the management of cervical cancer is, is not exactly a reduction of, uh, of uh, therapeutic uh, actions, but, uh, but better coordination, better tailoring. So we, the goal is one to tailor surgery, exactly tailor surgery to the real extent of the tumor. Uh, surgery of cervical cancer is not a single operation, radical hysterectomy it can be many, many, thi many things and also radical hysterectomy has several, uh, several uh, types and levels of extension. So it's extremely important to exactly tailor, it's kind of precision medicine. Also it has evolved uh, uh, concerning the staging of lymph nodes involvement and it's a TNM classification. Now the N factor, the nodal factor, is incorporated in the FIGO classification, which was not in the past. And now we are able to surgically assess the nodes without opening the patient. So we have laparoscopic techniques, we have the sentinel node technique, we have extraperitoneal aortic dissection that can be done on an outpatient basis, uh, ambulatory basis, and can refine the staging of the, of the patient. And finally, one of the objectives is also for early cervical cancer to avoid combination addition of treatment. So it, uh, ideally it should be surgery only or radiation only. Uh, and that, that's really a goal, knowing that in the past many patients many patient were offered uh, both technique uh, with the associated cost and loss of quality of light and uh, life and complication. And last word, uh, basically I'm, I'm a surgeon, but uh, even surgeons can be fan of, of radiation. And uh, obviously radiation therapy and this day uh, combine chemo radiation, including external radiation and brachytherapy is, uh, is still a major component of the management of cervical cancer and especially the most advanced one. I have spoken about early and advanced, but in between there is kind of a gray zone. And there are patients with some stages, for example 2A or 2B staging, or 1B3 stages, the big tumors but localized to the cervix, uh, who can be managed according to the resources, according to the skills, either surgically or by chemo radiation. And this is the beauty of this kind of guidelines that are multidisciplinary when the either there is no consensus or when there are two equivalent options, we can, uh, we can, um, sorry, uh, when there are two equivalent options, it's possible to choose between them 
uh, with two, uh, two uh, considerations in mind. One, the, the opinion of the patient, because the patient can be offered different technique. Else also the, the availability of the correct technique, and especially good surgery or good radiation therapy. And quality of care is essential, and we have also addressed this. We have quality criteria for surgery. Radiation oncologists uh, have a long tradition of establishing quality criteria for the technique, so now uh, the portfolio is, is full and is complete.